so welcome back to my channel so today I'm bringing you another hair tutorial on this wavy loose wave beachy mermaidish hair uh, using a straightener so yeah but before we get into that I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the support and likes and comments and views and everything on my curly hair tutorial um, we're almost at a million views. I wish I could say subscribers, but not yet. Um, a million views, and I never would have thought in, what, a month and a half since it's been up that it would almost hit a million views. Like, maybe a few thousand views, but I'm so excited for that. Um, so, to show my thanks and gratitude for almost hitting a million, I'm going to do an art giveaway. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed that I'm an artist also. I paint, I draw, I do a lot of art. <laughs> so if you guys don't follow me, go ahead and follow me right here. This is my Instagram name. And uh, the link will be in the description box down below. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do an art giveaway for that, because of that video getting almost to a million, almost to a million views, I wanted to give away a piece of my art. It will be three lucky winners will get a print of one of my drawings, and this is the drawing right here. Me. Yeah, it's a curly hair drawing, a really cute little girl, woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a giveaway for three of you guys. All you gotta do is be subscribed to me here on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram. And that's all you gotta do. Just for fun, just, um, you know, to thank you guys. So the giveaway for three winners. And then what else is there? Oh, also, for my next video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A because since my last video, I gained almost 15,000 subscribers, so I wanted to do a Q&A um, because all of you guys are new here to my channel, or most of you guys are new here to my channel, so I wanted to um, do a get to know me. I didn't want to pick random questions. Well, I'll do some random, some frequently asked questions that I usually get. If you have any questions for me, you can DM me on Instagram. You can comment here, you can message me through YouTube, which I didn't know that was a thing until I got a message. So yeah, anyway, you can contact me. I will see the comment or the message, so feel free to ask me anything. Also, I wanted to mention any of the makeup that you see on me, the lashes, all of that, um, the the nail color, everything is gonna be listed down in the description box. Yeah, so without further ado, the most uh, commonly used little um, slide intro to the video, uh, let's get into the hair tutorial. All right, so first things first, the straightener I use is the Ultra Chi. It's purple. It's a uh, one inch, I think. Um, you can use any straightener. But this one, the only thing I don't like about this one is that you can't control the temperature. Um, there's only an on and off button, if you can see inside there. Um, I usually put it at the highest temperature anyway, so I don't really, it doesn't really bother me that much, but if you guys want to use lower temperature, this one won't be a good one for you. But um, yeah, all you need is a straightener. I prefer the smaller one for the look that we're going to go for today. So the next important thing is heat protectant for your hair. You can use uh, oil, a serum, you know, um, whatever. I don't know, whatever you use. But I got this sample at the mall, uh, you know, the little kiosk. The guys are like passing little samples out. So I don't have full size, but it's just a hair serum with marula oil. Um, I don't know much about heat protectants. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna use today. I should have opened this before. But yeah, all you wanna do is, if you do use like a little oil or anything like that, you're just gonna use maybe like an, a dime size amount, like this. Beep. So you're just gonna rub it in your fingers. 
And then I usually just put it lightly through my hair. I have thin hair. I don't like putting oil in my hair because my hair gets oily quickly on its own. So I kind of try to avoid the oil unless I'm putting heat to it. So you just want to put that through your hair, mainly on the ends because those tend to get the driest the quickest. Oh, also, since my last hair tutorial, I cut my hair, as you can see. It's me. I cut my hair. Uh, it was like down to my butt before, my curly hair video. Now it's like boob length. It's way more manageable. I save a lot of shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so the first thing I do, you can just rub the excess oil like on your fingers to make your hands all soft and moisturized. So I section off maybe like to my ears all the way back first and then I tie up. You can clip it, tie it up, whatever, put it away. So it's out of the way. <laughs> so the sections don't matter. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be little bits, but I usually take about this size of a section and I'm going to show you the technique that I use with the straightener and then um, I'm just going to speed through it. I'm probably going to just skip, do half my head and then come back when the uh, top half needs to be done and then I'll just speed through that so you guys I don't bore you. But for the technique, you turn it, slowly slide it down, and then you turn it the other way. And then as you're turning, you want to slide it down very slowly. And then keep going back and forth. And I'm looking in a mirror over here, that's why I'm looking away. But you want to go just back and forth, that's basically I miss some hairs, but yeah, you see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go over it again because I, some hairs slipped out. So you just wanna go, let me just do it again. Back and forth. Ow. You guys, use um, heat gloves. I still have a scar on my neck from burning my neck. But yeah, look. So this is a crimp style. It's a wave, beachy wave, mermaid wave, crimp, not really, it's not crimped, it's not crimped. It's just a really pretty wave. Super easy, you can use a straightener for it. You know, get multi-uses out of your straightener. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the bottom half of my hair or the majority of my hair and then I'll be right back. So I decided to just start back the video here. I already did the majority of my hair. As you can see, it's nice and wavy. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, the technique again so you guys can get the hang of it easier. I'm just gonna let you guys watch. I can't really explain it. You turn it, slide it down a little bit. As you're sliding down, just turn, keep turning it back and forth. Just be careful because I did burn my finger. Okay, so, and that's the wave you get really pretty so i'm just gonna speed through the rest of the top of my head so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing okay
My hand is starting to cramp. <laughs> it's getting hard to turn the um, the straightener. When I did this to my hair, when it was really long, almost to my butt, it took me forever. And also my hand just, my hand just gave up on me. <laughs> so having short hair, having shorter hair and doing this is a plus. All right, well. I'm done. That took probably a total of, what time is it, 2.40? I kind of started at like 2.20-ish. So it took, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, but which isn't that long to do your hair. But yeah, so this is what the back looks like. It's just a pretty fast little hairdo you can do i like how you can use a straightener to do this you know make your straightener do multiple things get your money's worth because the cheese straighteners are a little bit more expensive um so the more use you can get out of them the better right but yeah you guys this is the finished product and see how the oil the serum just makes your hair super shiny and healthy looking even though you added heat to it oh, i'm hot that's why my chest is all red <laughs> i hope you guys liked this tutorial i hope it helped you out if you didn't even know how to use this um how to use your straightener to do this so let me know if you if it's a new method for you let me know if it's a new method for you um let me know if you try it out if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.